Hey guys, <clears throat> good morning. I am going to be laying out a Murder Inc. page today. Uh, yeah, just kind of walking you through the very beginning of it, all the way from um, uh, just the first steps of the script. Uh, Sometimes I have this bad habit of, uh, instead of um, opening up a uh, um, my master um, template, um, and instead I'll just kind of overwrite an old page. Uh, it's a bad habit. I do. Um, it's cost me pages a couple times too, but I still do it sometimes. All right. Um, so there's my template. Um, I like to keep this uh, white overlay, and then I lower the opacity on so I can still see the template, at least for when I'm first laying pages out. Um, and then I'll bump that up and get rid of it. Um, I find it distracting to have the full thing here while I'm uh, penciling on top of it. I don't really know why. Um, but if you've listened to enough of these, you know there's a lot of stuff. I'm not exactly sure why I do it. Um, some of it's just old habits that are just hard to, you know, change. Um, I also got this nifty desk here. Um, it's a lifting desk, so right now I'm standing, um, and I'm shocked at how much I've been enjoying that. Um, let's get down to the nitty gritty. First thing we do, I've read the script. Um, but I'm gonna look at this page again. Uh, what's interesting about this page is that there's a lot of hyperlinks that Brian provided. Um, hyperlinks are um, for reference. Um, so let's read through this real quick. Interior gym day. Huge panel, most of the page. Fight! <clears throat> Two huge boxers are going at it. I thought maybe this could be a cool way to have Loreal Neiman quality to them. Uh, here are some Loreal Neiman boxing images for references. But I thought Taki could come up with a cool look. Uh, for like some sort of VR reference. Um, only for the sport itself, everything else is normal style, but the fighting is all in red. So it's like this holographic kind of um, uh, VR boxing match going on, lots of reds. There's their reference here. Um, lots of reference. Let's see. Sometimes these links don't always work, which sucks. Yeah, that page isn't there. I don't know what, why does this happen? I hate that this launches in page isn't found either. I'll just have to look up um, these references that he sent. Sometimes the links don't work, like I said. Nah. Nah. Okay. This isn't going well so far. Alright, so let's forget about the references for right now. Uh, so that's a huge panel. First thing I like to do is just check out how many panels are on a page. So, uh, there's one, there's only three panels on this page. So, huge panel, most of the page, fight, uh, two boxers are going at it. Okay, panel two, Valentine and Jagar inside the gym and watch off panel. Jagger fucking loves fights, Valentine never liked them. Valentine, really what? 
what does this do for you? And on three Valentine Jagger turns, looks at him and owns it. Behind him is our Don and his team come in. Okay, so basically what I think about this page initially is that um, they've gone to this boxing place, they're going to have a meeting. Um, whether Brian meant it or not, I'm going to use the boxing match as the sort of uh, metaphor for a conflict coming up, whether it's conflict between Jagger and Val or Val and the Don. Um, that's the sort of visual metaphor I'll keep in mind while I'm working page. I'm sure Brian did that on purpose. Um, also, the use of boxers for you know noir crime noir stuff is it's pretty heavy. Um, so let's look up Rory Neiman boxing. Just get an idea of what Brian was going for. Oh yeah, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. But now I'm not exactly sure if the boxes are really there or not, or huge panel, most of the panel fight. Two boxes are going at it. This will be a little bit tricky because I don't have the next page of the script, so I'm not sure if these are supposed to be, if Brian's talking about the VR boxing stuff as then these are sort of holographic VR boxers, if that's why they're all in red, or if it's just a color thing that denotes. So I'm going to kind of ignore the thought of them being VR boxers and just go with the fact that they're probably real boxers. So. Um, I don't know shit about boxing, so one of the things I'm going to look up first is just boxing. And I probably want like classic boxing. Alright, so I'm going to pop that over there. Alright, so we know now that the first panel is big. to use this sort of penciling pen, which is a lower opacity. It's going to be a lot of silence in this because I'm doing a lot of thinking as I'm going. Uh, and first thing in the morning, it's hard enough to do, let alone uh, convey those ideas across as I'm doing it. Okay. Um, I think the reveal for um, behind Valentine Jagger turns and looks at him as he as and owns it. Behind her is the Don and the team comes in. I think that entrance of the Don is going to be uh, more of a paramount panel than the second panel, which is just them talking. Um, so I think we need to give that a little more space even. And then I feel like I'm going to stack these slightly, meaning we've got one wide panel at the very top. The middle panel will be the average width of the page of the cropped area. And then the last panel is going to be slightly smaller here. All right, now here's the thinker. For this first panel, for... So I think I want some sort of I want to set up the ropes kind of coming at you with this angle here. So the ropes become almost like an arrow, like a set of arrows pointing at you, you know. I'm gonna block out some sort of 
sort of boxers here. I should probably, I'm going to really think about getting some action in, so. Um, like, I, meaning I don't want the boxers just standing there in boxing poses. I want them in fighting poses, which I'm going to have to look up uh, to get poses down right and stuff. And then down over here, we're going to see Jagger and Walker. Jagger and Walker. Jagger and, uh, and Val. And I'm going to put this series of light shafts here to spotlight stuff. So there's like these shafts of light here that's going to spotlight um, them and the boxers. I don't know actually. When I think about it, they're they're going to have their own thing going on, um, and they're in the foreground. So I don't think I really need like a shaft of light going on them. Um, might be interesting though. Let's see what we'll, we'll go out here. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'm just blocking out the shot here. I'm not too concerned about uh, body language or the specificity of the, the shot or the environment. I'm just really looking at the composition and flow of eye. So if you look here, I've got these shafts of light here that are going to spotlight the characters. And then even the, um, the ring itself is set up in such a way that it's just drawing the eye from left to right, hopefully. Um, actually, I put a little bit of an angle. To that just to kind of make it feel like it's pointing your eye a little bit towards the page as well. Actually, now that I look at it, that sucks. Just keep it like that. Um, then it's uh, Val and Jagger. Uh, Val and Jagger inside the gym and watch right off panel. Jagger fucking love fights. Valentine's dislike them. So obviously, Valentine's going to be kind of disinterested and more curious into why um, what Jagger's into it. So his body language is going to be um, more set back. Um, you know, maybe he's uh, fiddling with his watch or something. He's almost he's disinterested in what's going on, um, kind of side eyeing um, Jagger. Uh, so actually, yeah, how's that? Him like looking at his fucking fingers or some shit, kind of side eyeing eyeing Jagger. Like, what, the fuck, what do you get out of this? Um, and then she has to look really into it. So let's get close up with. Jagger up front. And she's going to just be very into it. A little smile. And Val's back here. Playing around with his fingers, you know. I gotta be careful to make sure that he's not making a fist. Actually, give him a cigarette. And then I'm gonna pull that cigarette smoke going across the two of them, kind of connecting them in the scene. Uh, the, you know, object way up in the foreground, he's way in the background. There will be shapes. I'm going to not lay, lay anything out, but I'm going to just vaguely describe the kind of shapes I'm going to want back here. So I want it to, like, you know, kind of come out towards you. So everything's in perspective here. Boom. You know, the character's in perspective, the background's going to be perspective, and, um, Hopefully give it a lot of depth. And then uh, third panel, and normally this stuff goes a lot faster than this because I'm not stopping to think out loud <laughs> or to um, you know describe this to anybody. Uh, then the last panel, this has got to be pretty good. Um, behind Valentine, Jagger turns and looks at him and owns it behind her, and Don and his team come in. I 
Okay, so she's turning and kind of revealing to him that the Don and, the, and them are there. The Don is good, happy to see them because of the jobs that they pulled off in this last episode or, or last uh, series. foreground. Hopefully I can catch this sort of idea that he's turning. Uh, Jagger speaks first. Jagger's also kind of turning to see and Don and them. Team. It's not very specific, so I'm guessing it's Don and then some suits. Now, believe it or not, that's all I'm really concerned about on the 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 layout. Um, that's basically it here. So. The first shot is a big establishing shot of the gym. Um, there'll be some of the sort of iconic old school gym shit around, big round lights. It's gonna look old school, it's not gonna look like a modern gym really. Um, maybe I'm falling into the cliche, actually it should probably be a very modern looking gym. Um, especially because this is a sort of futuristic, it's a light future in, um, in Murder Inc. Um, so we'll see, you know, punching bags and stuff like that. I'll have to pull up some reference on, on gyms. Um, get this boxing guys uh, laid out right. Um, nice middle shot here. We're close in on both the characters. So we got like on the first panel, we've got um, we've got them in the far background. We got characters in the, in the far foreground. Second background, we've got the same thing. A lot of depth there. Third background is just kind of um, it just needs to establish the character more than anything else. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's the page layout there. Um, I'm going to tighten up some details before I get into the penciling part, which is where I create another layer. <coughs> um, uh, and tighten up the pencils. So I like this shot here I'm looking at. Um, I'm going to cheat this though. I'm going to draw this with um, this guy actually having punched there right then and there. Um, so like one little trick that I've learned. I don't know if it'll work here or not. No, it won't work. Sometimes you keep it an image panel in panel. And then you've got the sort of reference right there. I'll switch to my other glasses. This dude's gonna be like. So all, all I'm doing here. Now you've talked. You've heard me talk before about um, tracing reference, right? Um, again, it's not a sin. It's all about you controlling the reference, not the reference controlling you. If you're tracing something. Um, um, but here, all I'm doing is I'm looking at a photo. Just literally for the reference, and I'm changing some stuff. Like I'm changing the angle of the of the shot, you know. So we're going to be much more um, at at a lower angle, and this cat here is actually going to be jabbing this guy. Um, so I mean, I could trace this if I wanted to, um, just to get their basic body language down exactly right and stuff. Um, As long as you're tracing with your own art, you know, you're just using it as a breakdown. Like the, the photo basically would be the same thing as what I'm drawing and sketching out here. Um, I typically only do that if there's a shot that I just can't get. Like if I was going to end up fighting with this shot, which I can tell it's going well, so I'm not going to have to really fight with it. Sometimes I just, man, I can't figure out how to do this. Um, sometimes it's a simple thing, like somebody holding. Um, 
uh, I had somebody hanging up a phone at a, at a weird angle. Um, and it worked in the layouts, but I was really having trouble executing it. So, boom, I just took a photo of myself, traced over it, but used my own style and sense of proportions over the photo and helped figure it out. Jagger a large nose. I don't think there's enough girls drawn in comics with large noses. Not comically so, just you know, just a big, big strong nose. Um, scribbling is uh, it's a powerful tool. You know, a lot of times I, I find my shapes through scribbles rather than really tight. Sometimes I would just um, tightly draw, you know, the circles and um, tubes and squares and, you know, those basic, those, those real hardcore shapes that make up um, figure work. Um, other times I like to scribble, and that's something I learned from John Buscema had left some notes about that. I think it maybe in How to Draw Comics in Marvel Way. I'm not sure. Um, but it made a lot of sense about like, just kind of follow, finding the shape. Especially I find that really works well for that sort of push and pull, that elastic look that some of the best animation and drawings have. You know, Sean Galloway's work always feels like everything's made of taffy, like gravity is just pulling stuff in different directions. Um, Sakevich, who, while he doesn't draw cartoony, he draws abstractly, and when he does that kind of stretch and pull thing, um, I bet he gets a lot of that out of finding the shape, you know. And I'm using these three guys back here as a sort of framing device for the done. See, they, sh they sort of create a, a frame around him. First thing in the morning, guys. Brain's not working. All right, so that's basically it. That's that's the layout right there. Um, took way too long, <laughs> um, but I'm glad I talked it out with you guys. Um, so that's that. Uh, the next video, I'm gonna tighten it up. Um, I'll tighten up the pencils, and uh, that'll be that. Thanks, guys.